All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakwadash. All right, I want to give double honor to the elders, apostles at GMS, and salutations and blessings to the Akim around the world, preaching and teaching his truth. All right, I'm the Akinan, GMS Memphis, and um, just going to do a quick lesson um, going into this news article on WREG.com. Um, this is a local station around here in the Memphis area. And, um, you know, it's just been a lot of uh, murder suicides, uh, you know, here in the area. Then I just read another one um, on the news app. So, um, you know, hey, the Lord is, is, is doing work in the earth, man. You know, like uh, it says in Psalms 9 and 16, uh, the Lord is known by the judgment which he executed, man. So a lot of people are knowing uh, you how about Shema was shy by judgment, man. Okay, but this this article, <coughs> Salaki, this article says uh, three dead and murder suicide in Marion, Arkansas. It says uh, three people were killed in a murder suicide Tuesday morning in Marion, Arkansas. Police said. Man, officers were dispatched for a welfare check at Bayou Vista Drive around 9.30. Officers on the scene spoke to two juveniles about what was going on when they heard gunshots coming from out, from inside the house. Um, yeah, it's just going into it, the guy's name and, and everything. But I have two more articles, so I'm going to go ahead and and just jump down into the next one. See, this one says three dead. Three dead after postal workers opened fire in Memphis. And this was basically the same day. This was yesterday as well. <clears throat> so like it. it says three people are dead, including the shooter, after a postal worker killed two other employees at a snorting, a sorting, so like it, <laughs> a sorting facility in Memphis. And there's the uh, video of it. But uh, basically this happened at a post office, man, here in, in Memphis. It says uh, Park Avenue and, and uh, Pendleton. Okay, so you had uh, another murder-suicide. And then, here it is, you have another one, 10 hours ago. So, it says, Realtor killed in a murder-suicide by man unhappy with new home. It says, an 84-year-old man gunned down his real estate agent in a murder-suicide because he was upset over the Virginia home he had just bought sight unseen authority said okay so <laughs> here it is man and less than um i guess this is the guy the realtor the guy gunned down he looks like a homosexual man he has a real homosexual vibration yep look at this <laughs> arnold so this was judgment i can't even pronounce his <clears throat> his last name was remembered by other members of the LGBTQ nonprofit Hamptons Road Pride, where he volunteered for more than a decade. Wow. I just just looked at this guy and got to feel it. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. But uh hey, that was judgment, man. Now, hey, matter of fact, let's hey, let's get this in Joe. And we'll uh, get a couple more scriptures, man, and that'll be it. Um, This is Job 4 and 7. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perish being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? Even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. Woo! So, man, come on. You're going you, you gonna to get... Hey, you get it back, man. With the energy you give out, it comes back, man. And at the end of the day, the Lord says, whoever perished being innocent, man, because we're all sinners, man. You know, we're all worthy of death, man. Okay? 
But right now, we're under the grace of my of your how about Shema was shot, man. And what are we doing with our grace period, man? Hey, we're trying to come back and, and serve the Lord, man, and prove to him that, hey, we we, we want salvation. And we're, we're trying and doing everything we can to be found worthy. But you have people out here, man, that are using this grace period to, to uh you know, to, to get more and more in debt, man, instead of trying to get out of it, man. All right? Just digging, digging uh the hole deeper and deeper. All right, putting sin on top of sin, and what's what's that uh, eventually going to lead to is death, man. You know, and that's what we're seeing heavy in the earth, man. Is death. All right, this is Deuteronomy thirty-two and thirty-nine. It says, "See now that I am that Salakia. See now that I, even I, am He, and there is no power with me." I kill and I make alive, I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Right. So hey man, once once the Lord has called your number, man, once he's uh made made his mind up that he's about to take you off the earth, man, there's nobody that can deliver you out of his hand, man. Okay? Let me get this in uh Ecclesiasticus. Ecclesiastes eight and where is that at? Yeah, eight and uh, eight. It says, there is no man that have power over the spirit to retain the spirit. Neither have he power in the day of death. And there is no discharge in that war. Neither shall wickedness deliver those that are given to it. Right. So, man, you don't have any power, man. Hey, like we just read in uh, Deuteronomy 32, man. Hey, the Lord kills and he makes alive, man. Okay, he wounds and he heals, man. At the end of the day, it's all up to you. How about Shema was shy? And if if he calls your number, man, you it's that's it, man. When those deaf angels come out, man, they they executing judgment on the spot, man. They they they're doing what what's pleasing until you. How about Shema was shy, man? And let me get that. Uh, spirits created for vengeance. Yeah. This is uh, Sirach 39 and 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, for uh, in their fury, in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of the of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. You see, they appease the wrath of Yahweh by Shema Shai, man, because that's his judgment, man. That's that's how. Well, matter of fact, let me get that. You know. Hey, the scriptures say this. I just quoted it earlier, but I'm going to get it. This is uh, Psalms 9 and 16. The Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, is known by the judgment which he executed. The wicked is snared <coughs> in the work of his own hands. See, so the wicked is getting caught up, man, in the work of their own hands, man. So when they uh, uh, add that sin on top of sin, man, the Lord brings forth that judgment. And he sends the angels out to do his will, man. Okay? That's why the scripture just said it appeases the wrath of him that made them, man. All right? Let's get uh last scripture in Matthew. This is Matthew 10. Because, hey, you should you should only fear your how about Shema Shah, man. He's the one that has control over everything. So... At the end of the day, man, we we're trying to uh, you know, stay on the Lord's good side, man. All right, so you don't get caught up in this judgment, man. That's going forth, man. And and even within uh, you know, uh, uh, GMS right now, hey, the Lord is moving, man. His spirit is moving, man. All right, we're seeing we're seeing the apostles uh uh start to uh bring down the order for the uh the the, the camp heads to. To get more strict, man, and stern with, with brothers, man. You know, things are tightening up, man. Because why? We're getting to the end of this thing, man. We're at the end. So everything has to be that much tighter, man. That much locked in. More locked in. Okay? But let me get this. This is Matthew 10 and 28. It says, And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. But rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Right, you fear your how about Shema Shai, man. He's the one that, that you should fear. 
okay? Because he has our power to do whatever, man. Like it tells you in Romans 9, um, he, had, he will give mercy unto whom he will give mercy to, you know, and have compassion on whom he will have compassion, man. Hey, and it, it basically, matter of fact, let me just get it. Because it says, uh, I think it's 9 and 22. Yeah, it says, what if the Most High willing to show his wrath and make known the power, his power known, endured with much long sufferings, the, the vessel of wrath fitted to destruction. Right, that's Esau. And jumping back up to uh, verse 21, have not the powder power over the clay, the same lump to make one vessel unto honor, and another unto dishonor, because the Lord, he can do what he wants to do. The Lord, you have by Shema Shah can do what he wants. This is Romans 9 and 19. It says, Thou will say then unto me, Why do he yet find fault? For who have resisted his will? Right. Well, you can't resist the will of Yahweh by Shema Shah, man. He controls everything. He's a, he's a, <coughs> he's all powerful, man. Okay, so that hey, that's a power you should you should be afraid of, man. That's a power to be feared, okay? And a lot of, he's, he's bringing that fear back upon the earth, man. With all of these situations we just saw, man. These are fearful things, man. Like the scripture says, a fearful thing to fall into the hands of a living power, man. Here it is, a relative got killed, murder, suicide, okay? Um, what else was that? Um, yeah, right here, post office, three post office. Workers dead, basically a murder suicide there as well. Guy killed two people and killed himself. All right, and uh, one more going back. Yeah, three dead and a murder suicide in Marion, Arkansas, man. Okay, and this is all in a, in in a, a span of a day or so, man. So hey, this is judgment from your how about Shema Shai. So now's the time to hey come back and serve the Lord. With fear and trembling, get right, man, and 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 uh pray, pray, pray daily, man. Pray daily to 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 uh stay in the spirit, man, and to to uh believe, man, and keep the faith. All right, because we're at the end of this thing, man. Now is not the time to lighten up; it's time to tighten up, man. So, hey, Lord willing, this was a edifying lesson for the elect. Once again, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Kakodash. Give double honors to the elders, apostles of GMS, and say you taste and bless to the elect. Shalom.